faculty, staff, family, friends, welcome to the 2020 Lane College Honors Convocation. Our show will begin in five minutes. Sit back, relax, message a friend, crank up the volume on your phone, join us as we celebrate some of Lane's best and brightest. Two, three. Two, three, one. Hello, hello.
Welcome with Vice President Daryl Coleman as Master of Ceremonies and student co-hosts Kadarius Scott and Troy Sparks, featuring celebrity guest star Melinda Williams and special presentations by President Logan Hampton. Thank you for joining us during this difficult and unprecedented time. Welcome to the 2020 Lane College Honors Convocation. Hello, I'm Dr. Darrell H. Coleman, the Vice President for Academic Affairs at Lane College, and it's my great pleasure to kick off this year's Honors Convocation. Thank you for joining us, and we have several special presentations to be given on today. Let me start off by saying that this does seem strange. As you see, I think Honors Convocation is one of the Lane's most formal events with faculty in full procession of colorful academic regalia, filled with formal prayers, speeches, and standing ovations. So hosting an informal honors convocation on Facebook Live seemed very different and unusual for me. However, these are very different and unusual times in our world. A lot has changed seemingly overnight. But let me be clear, Lane College's commitment to you remains unchanged. We are keeping some distance in the short term so we can be stronger together in the long term. We're redesigning classes, buying new technology, revamping residence hall, and giving you more ways to graduate easier and faster. And we're here for you, and we will get through this together. President Hampton will be joining me in making these award presentations, as well as two familiar faces to many of us, Kadaria Scott, and Troy Sparks. Kadarius and Troy will be serving as our student co-host today. Together with the Department of Mass Communication, they prepared an exciting show for us. So let the show begin. Thanks, Vice President Coleman. Hi, everybody. I'm Troy Sparks. And I'm Kadarius Scott. And today we're in the CyberCAF, and I think we should present an award to Team Clean and all the amazing people who are keeping the campus going during our current health crisis. I totally agree. Now I understand why there's a shortage of toilet paper, Clorox wipes, and hand sanitizers. It's all stockpiled here at Lane, and they are scrubbing everything away. Believe me, Team Clean and staff departments are taking the president's, president's requirement to pandemic-proof this campus very seriously, and this definitely shows. Now, our first shout-out goes to Team Clean, Vice President Scott, Vice President McGee, Mr. Chavis, and the entire facilities support team. Absolutely. And if I'm not mistaken, there is a celebrity in the house today, correct? Uh, yes, Troy. I'm right here. Uh, no, Kadarius. A real celebrity. Hey everybody, it's Melinda. Uh, I'm so excited to be able to be here with all my Lane friends to celebrate with you on this very special day. And I know it's a day for us to celebrate uh, Lane's best and brightest, but I think we all deserve to be celebrated right now. Um, you've been really strong, you've hung in there. It's a difficult time and you deserve to celebrate you. So I'm, Again, excited to be here with you for that. What is our first award today, Kadarius? Well, our first award is the Pro Profile Encourage Award. 
This student is being recognized for their unbridled commitment to, our, to principal, even when his or her position was not popular with their peers. Our nominees are Aza Ray Underwood, Adrian Stokes, Ashley Andrews, Jonathan Franklin, Keontae Wallace, Ladeja Allen, LaShondra Brown, Monet Galloway, Tyler Newkirk, and Usher Amani Jordan. And here to present all the awards today is our amazing president, the 10th president of Lane College, Dr. Logan Hampton. The recipient of the 2020 Profile in Courage Award is Aza Ray Underwood. Congratulations, Aza Ray, uh, on receiving this award today. Uh, may you continue to lead in the future with the same conviction and same passion with which you led the women's volleyball team and with which you led the Power of Potential Scholars. Congratulations and God bless you. Congratulations, Aza. This is an amazing award. Um, I mean, what's better than courage? I don't know. Good for you. We need that inspiration, especially right now. Congratulations. Now at this time, now at this time we're going to present our first award for our first outstanding first year scholars. Now this award is given to one young man and one young lady who have maintained excellent grades and displayed active participation in school activities. In addition, the selected individuals are leaders in encouraging the success of fellow students. The recipient of this year's outstanding first year student goes to Michael Davis and Tanisha Ta Thomas. Congratulations, Michael and Tanisha. I hope this award marks the beginning of an overwhelming successful career here at Lane College. Yes, Michael and Tanisha. Congratulations, you did it. It's hard to balance everything as a freshman. Not for you, apparently. Good for you. Congrats.
let's talk about Lane's award for most progress in a single year. Kadarius, this is going to take a while because I feel like there should be a thousand winners in this category. Well, we've all made a lot of progress this year. Our, wor our world has turned upside down and we've jumped through hoops just to keep moving. We've all made incredible progress this year, but all the nominations are in and there is only one winner. Sometimes the distance one has traveled is more significant at a, at a given point in time than one's destination. One student is being recognized for, giving their, for using their God-given talents and making great strides during, the, during their academic year. She is truly on a path to greatness. Our nominees are Senea Hicks, Danielle McAdams, and Latori Williams. The recipient of the most progress in a single year The recipient for this year is LaTori Williams. Congratulations, LaTori. Uh, one of the hardest things in life for a person to do is self-improvement. And you've improved all across uh, all the endeavors, all the areas of human endeavor. You've improved in the classroom, you've improved on campus, and we congratulate you and celebrate you this year. Congratulations, LaTori. Latori, I think I remember hearing something about you during my visit at homecoming. Apparently you're pretty incredible. You are my personal inspiration today because you inspire me to keep it pushing. Congratulations, I'm so very proud of you, sis. Next, we will present the awards for Chapel Student and Staff Leader Awards.
This award is presented to a student and a staff member who have made outstanding contributions to the weekly assembly programs and have gone above and beyond the call of duty when called upon. Our nominees are Stefan Bowers, Christopher Guyton, Taylor Richardson, Tiara Lindsay, Z Zakaria Hunter, Professor Peters, Dr. Rogers, Chaplain McKendra, Miss Ritchie, and Physical Plant. The 2020 Chapel Leader Students Award is presented to Christopher Guyton, and this year's Chapel Leader Staff Award is presented to Professor Pamela Peters. Congratulations to Chris and Professor Peters. You've both made Weekly Chapel amazing with your contribution. Chris's singing talent is well known to rock the rafters, and Professor Peters has the uncanny ability to capture the majesty of the service provided by our chaplains, Freeman McKendra and Dr. Deborah Rogers. about the Lane College Service Award. Kadarius. Now, Troy, the recipient of this next award has quietly gone beyond ordinary expectations to provide outstanding service and uncommon support to others. And our nominees are Alexis Kraft, Katrion Stringer, Howard Jones, Jade Allen, Desmond Jamerson, Javante Mahone, Troy Sparks, Keviana Gilmore, Sandra Harton, Tyler Newkirk, and Tiara Maybone. Ooh, this is amazing. I hope I win. Well, good luck, Troy. And the winner of the service award, the 2020 Lane College Service Award goes to Tyler Newkirk. Congratulations, Tyler. I am sure Tyler is somewhere throwing up the hooks right now. <laughs> Tyler, congratulations. You've led all across the campus. Uh, typically, you would be here behind the camera or you would be in front of the camera, but you would be somewhere connected to this camera. You've led in class, you've led out of class, you've led in Bible study. I've been in Bible studies and heard you ask the most provocative questions that inspire and stimulate spiritual growth. Congratulations. Um, Tyler, you need to go update your resume because you just won the service award while the entire world is going through a global pandemic. That means you put others before yourself. Uh, that's the definition of a community leader. So yeah, go do that now. Well, not right now, but right after this. Congrats.
have an award to present for Student Leader of the Year. This award is presented in recognition of a student's leadership and support of the college. Our nominees are Tierra Maybaum, Alexander Propiner, Jay Allen, Javante Mahone, Safan Bowers, myself, Troy Sparks, and Tyler Newkirk. The recipient of the 2020 Lane College Student Leader of the Year Award is Tierra Maybaum. Congratulations, Tierra, on your leadership abilities. Truly, you are a leader on this campus. I hope that these leadership skills you've learned here earn you a wonderful future as you go forward and be great. Congratulations. Tierra, Kadarius, and Troy were quick to present that award, so we must be running out of time. But I still have something that I want to say. You know, right now we need leaders like you more than ever. Um, and college is still very much a thing. And I don't want you to allow this pandemic situation to um, be your excuse or prevent you from finishing what you started at Lane College. Uh, your education is very important. And when you finish what you started at Lane, you are going to go out in the world and make it a much better place. And we need you for that. Uh, we need you to help make this change. Right now, we need to be reimagining what this whole 2020 vision looks like and beyond. And this is where you get all that information and take it out into the world. Um, so continue to do that. Finish what you started. Now, what about the Dragon Award? I'm glad you asked about that award, Kadarius. The recipient of the Dragon Award has incredible potential for future success and has already demonstrated extraordinary leadership and scholarship. Our nominees are Keviana Gilmore, Alante Spate, 
Alexandra Propiner, Alexis Kraft, Alexandria Campbell, Jay Allen, Janiel Armstrong, Jerrica Byers, Tarnisha Thomas, Teresa Trice, myself, Troy Sparks, Unique Stanfield, and Tyleem Overton. And the Dragon Award winner. The winner of the 2020 Lane College Dragon Award is presented to Alexandra Propiner. Congratulations, Alexandra. Uh, certainly, uh, with you winning it, I mean, it certainly could be given to the person who's the most punctual, the most creative, uh, the most attentive to detail. Uh, you have shown leadership uh, as a student leader uh, in the Power Potential program, as well as in the classroom. You've done an excellent job. Congratulations. Well, congratulations, Alexandra. The Dragon Award, because dragons are fierce and fire free. <laughs> congratulations, because we need that fierce, that fire right now. We needed it every always. Congrats. I am pleased now to present the uh, Tradition Award the Lane College Tradition Award, and several other awards, the Scholar of the Year Award, and the President's Award. I will present those three awards, but uh, prior to uh, presenting those awards, let me just say just a few words. Uh, first, I want to just say a hearty word of thanks to Mrs. Melinda Williams. Uh, Mrs. Williams, I thank you for hosting the 2020 honors uh, convocation, uh, celebration. Uh, your participation with us today has elevated our celebration uh, to new heights. Throughout the 2019-2020 academic year, you have been an inspiration to the Lane College family. And I thank you for your presence, and I thank you for your friendship. These certainly are unprecedented times. And we should all be reminded that when the present is unpredictable, we must hold to God's unchanging hand and place our faith in our God who we know holds the future. We face this pandemic fearlessly by faith. It has been said that the eagle faces storm winds, that the eagle waits for the precise moment when the winds are quite strong, the eagle then spreads its wings and the winds lift the majestic bird above the storm. This behavior helps the bird to gain altitude and sets the bird aloft for a long and soaring flight. This behavior saves energy. And in this behavior, the eagle hardly has to flap its wings. We're reminded in the scripture, but they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. In these perilous times, we would do well to wait on the Lord. We would do well to learn from the eagle to fearlessly face the storm. And like the majestic eagle, the Lane College Dragon is soaring on the storm winds of COVID-19. We rejoice that this pandemic can't cancel dreams. We rejoice that this pandemic, in this pandemic, that hope isn't quarantined and that our celebrations haven't stopped. The Lane College Dragons are soaring to new heights. Even in this year, we continue to celebrate the achievements of our scholars and even our scholar athletes. The Black College Nines recognize the Lane College men's baseball team as the historically black college university 2020 poll champions. Congratulations to the entire baseball team. Congratulations to the coach of the year, Patrick Barber, our coach. Congratulations to those student athletes who were named to the first team, shortstop, Keyshawn Clark, designated hitter, 
Jordan Smith. And congratulations to the second team utility player, Zach Elias. We celebrate even on the storms of the wind. We celebrate those who have kept the historic traditions of the college. And so I want to present three additional awards. Um, the Lane College Tradition Award recognizes a student who has made outstanding contributions to the overall student body. This student will exhibit a positive attitude, excellent scholarship, and involvement and in dedication to student life. I am pleased to present the 2020 Lane College Tradition Award to Mr. Kadarius Scott, who has served as our host today. Congratulations, Kadarius. It is also my honor uh, to announce this year's winner of the Scholar of the Year. Our Scholar of the Year Award is extended to a student who has shown extraordinary talent and achievement in his or her overall academic performance. The 2020 Scholar of the Year Award. All right. The 2020 Scholar of the Year Award is presented to Ms. Kiviana Gilmore. Congratulations, Kiviana. Uh, thank you for all of your scholarship uh, this year and for leading, uh, leading the college all across the nation as you have uh, gone across the nation doing uh, those Proteace models or presenting you all as Proteace models. Uh, you have been an excellent scholar. Congratulations. And it is also uh, my honor to present the 2020 President's Award. The President's Award is the highest award given to a student and is presented to a student who has displayed excellence in scholarship, leadership, citizenship, and character. This year's President's Award winner, the 2020 Lane College President's Award is given to Miss Tiara Maybone, the 2019-2020 student body president. Ms. Maybone, it has just been a delight to work with you this year. You have been an excellent leader as one of our leaders of the band, as you've led them as a drum major, as you've led our Student Government Association, and we pray great success for you as you enter the classroom to teach students in the years to come. Finally, it is my honor to present the Dean's Award. The Dean's Award is presented to the highest ranking senior. And you all should know that this year's battle was a battle to the very end. This year's award recipient for the 2020 Dean's Award is presented to Jade Allen. Congratulations, Jade on an excellent academic career. We know you'll do well in the future, going across the world, making uh, your videos and doing your documentaries. We pray God's best for you as you leave this place. We stay apart today so that we can be together tomorrow. Let's remember that as an institution, as a college, as a community of scholars, we know a lot about overcoming obstacles. It is why we will get through these most difficult times together. It is what it means to be a lame college dragon. We care for one another. We celebrate one another. We love one another. We lean on one another. We support one another. And even in this moment, we continue loving on and leaning on and supporting one another. But for now, just know that Lane College is here for you and that we are working hard to continue to pandemic-proof our campus so that one day we'll all be back together 
here on this holy hill that we love and we call our fair lane, Lane College. Congratulations to all of our winners today and to each and every member of the Lane College family. Bless you and may God keep you and may God bless you beyond your wildest imagination or your most passionate dream. God bless him. Thank you so much, Dr. Hampton. I, I really have missed you guys since my visit to Lane College and I, I hope I get to come down and visit again soon because you guys are really a special group of people and made me feel welcome at home and like family. And I'm, it's such a pleasure for me to be here um, for this convocation with you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm very proud and very excited for you. Uh, Kadarius, Kiviana, Jade, congratulations. Super proud of you too. And again, stay fierce, stay strong. Well, thank you, President Hampton. Thank you, Ms. Williams. And a special thanks to Kadarius and, and Troy. This has been a first. I guess you can say I'm old school. Well, maybe I'm just old. <laughs> but still, I miss the regalia and the formal awards ceremony. But I must say, this has been fun. Thank you to the Mass Communication Department, Professor Peters, Dr. Samuel Miller, Andy Jones, and Talim Overton for helping us put this event together and bring it to you. We will get through this. That's what Laneites do. That's what Lane Dragons do. Lane survived the pandemic of 1918. We overcame the pandemic of 1968. And we will get through this pandemic together because we stand strong as one. We will be here for each of you. And we are busy refurbishing the residence halls the classrooms, and each of our facilities to create a safe living, learning community for you. So God bless you. Thank you for joining us for our celebration of the 2020 Honors Convocation and continue to be safe. And we look forward when we'll be together again. Go Lane, our LCD. Bye guys. Don't forget, graduating is still a thing. There's still much work to be done at Lane College. Do not quit. Thank you, President Hampton and Chairman Williamson, other board alumni, Donald Comer and my entire Lane family. I love you guys. Bye. Thank you for celebrating with us this morning. I'm Troy Sparks. And I'm Kadarius Scott. We will post links to this event on our website at lanecollege.edu and be sure to follow us on social media. Bye guys. Stay strong. We, we are, are Lane, Lane Strong. Thank you for joining us for the Lane College 2020 Honors Day Convocation. Hopefully we will all be back together soon but until then, be safe and know that you remain in our thoughts and prayers. From all of us at Lane College, may God bless your every endeavor.